Facebook. You met Mark Zuckerberg in the early days of Facebook and struck up a friendly, re- co-mentoring kind of relationship. What is it that you two share in common, and are there qualities of his that you've adopted? Or I wish I shared a lot of things with Mark. <laughs> Mark is... Uh, I met Mark in January 2005, which you can think of as two months after the end of the movie. <laughs> and uh, he came in because a wonderful man named Chris Ma, who was one of the half dozen vice presidents at the Post Company, Chris, who died last December, had a daughter, Olivia, who was a classmate of Mark's, and both Chris and Olivia were fascinated by Facebook, and she told him Mark was coming to D.C., so Mark came in to talk to Chris, and Chris and Jerry Rosberg brought him in to see me, and I listened for 20 minutes, and I said, this is the best business idea I've heard in a long time, and I've watched him and listened to him ever since and he's just one of these extraordinary once every 10 year people who uh, has a but you did a remarkable thing you and mark zuckerberg agreed to the terms of a washington post investment in facebook he agreed to the terms and then later on he got an offer that he found more appealing from someone else and you remarkably released him from that offer which people who look at these things say would have made the Post a, a bundle of money that it could use right now. Do you well, ever regret making that decision, or do you simply think you did the right thing? You know, of course, but, uh, you know, to begin with, Mark was 20 years old. And the first thing I said to him when I, uh, I started a conversation and said, you know, I, I have never before or since proposed a venture investment in a company. But in January of 2005, after 20 minutes listening to Mark, I said, in the end, you probably won't want to do this. In fact, I think you said you almost certainly won't want to do this. (laughs) But if you wanted an investor who's not a venture capitalist, the Post would be willing to invest in your company. But the reason I said, in the end, you won't want to do this played out Mark never signed anything. We had no legally binding agreement. And when he went back to Silicon Valley, as I knew would happen, uh, people who invest in these startups said, oh, you know, twice what the Post is offering, three times, four times. So he, this is a barely 20-year-old. He called me and he said, I feel I have a moral dilemma. I've been offered much more money for investment in the company but I gave you my word, and let's talk about it. And I obviously thought of saying, well, well, you know, suppose we match it, but I knew that any VC would, you know, would likely offer still more because they are going, their business is raising money from other people to invest in venture companies. They were thinking they're looking for something that might be a hit to raise their next fund, and the post wasn't, you know, that isn't our business. We weren't going to raise the next fund. And obviously the valuation was getting very high for a company that at that time literally had no revenue. So uh, we talked it over, and I did say to Mark just what you said. I, I, we talked for about 20 minutes, and I said, your life will be different if you do this, and they will treat you slightly differently than we will. And uh, uh, in the end, I said, yeah, I'll release you from your moral dilemma. I thought it was, you know, I thought it was one yet one more sample of what an unusual twenty-year-old has. Mark anybody was. ever yelled at you for making that no. decision? How no, look, could you? You, done? you uh, uh, I've done worse than that. <laughs> I met Warren Buffett in 1974, and Berkshire Hathaway stock was selling at fifty dollars a share. Today, it's at one hundred and twenty-two thousand. Not, it was fifty dollars. So, if all I had done was said, you know. It, luckily for us, about 25% of the Washington Post Company pension fund was put into Berkshire a few years later. And but f- that, was a, that was a much bigger miss than Facebook. 